on Highway 99. Just clear another call. I'm headed over there. Hey guys, what's going on? Alf here with another video. I just want to make a quick tutorial video today about something that it seems like a lot of people are having trouble with, uh, just with regard to GTA 5 and mods, uh, and getting all that stuff to work as far as that goes. So if you didn't already know, uh, anytime Rockstar releases a new patch uh, for GTA 5, it will break any mods that you've installed that are dependent upon the script hook or rage hook. Uh, or anything like that that's dependent upon being compatible uh, with certain versions of the game. Uh, and in addition to that, if you use Open 4 uh, to install mods, so if, that is if you're replacing you know, any game files, adding textures or sounds or things like that, uh, when you launch the game, the game will detect that as the game being corrupt or you know, missing files, and it'll kind of download them again and overwrite your mods. Uh, same thing with updates. The updates, you don't know when they're coming unless you just, you know, read GTA 5 news a lot and know when, you know, patches are coming. Uh, but other than that, you know, you really don't know. You just kind of launch the game. It starts updating. There's no way to stop it. No way to cancel it. does it on its own. Uh, overwrites your mods. Breaks your script mods. Uh, and it's really annoying. So I figured out uh, a way to prevent this from happening. What a lot of people have been doing is they just kind of unplug their internet when they launch the game, which is okay. Uh, except for the fact that, obviously, anything on your computer that uses the internet isn't going to work, uh, you know, when, when you do that. And then, in addition to that, you have to know, uh, ahead of time when a patch is coming, because, like I said, GTA 5 doesn't tell you, doesn't ask you, it just starts, it just starts doing the update by itself when you launch the game. Uh, so, for this to work, uh, what you need is an antivirus program, so I'm sure most people out there have one. I use AVG. Uh, so we'll open that up here. But really, any antivirus or internet security firewall software should allow you to do this. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to firewall, uh, change firewall mode, and go to applications. Like I said, if you have a different, you know, firewall software, uh, you know, the, the features that you just kind of got to click around to find it. So I'm going to find this big list here of just, you know, all the different things on my computer that since I've installed the antivirus have, um, you know, I've used the internet. But go down until I find GTA 5, and there should be a bunch of different GTA 5 components. Uh, so here we got Grand Theft Auto 5, Grand Theft Auto 5 Launcher, Grand Theft Auto 5 Pre-Launcher. What I'm going to do is just block all these things. So what that's going to do is prevent the game, you know, from doing all those annoying things. It'll keep your mods working, prevent DRM issues, prevent updates when you don't want them. Uh, and just allow you to play for as long as you want. Uh, until uh, your mods are updated to support the new game version. The one thing I will warn you about, though, is this will prevent uh, GTA Online from working as long as it's blocked, but, you know, it really doesn't matter, uh, because to play GTA Online, you need to update the game anyway, so it's not like it really makes a difference. Uh, but, yeah, so I'm just going to apply this, press OK, launch up GTA 5, uh, and then we should be good to go. Alright, so normally, you know, if the game was going to update itself, this window would pop up and it would just start doing that. But instead of that, what it's going to say is the Rockstar update service is unavailable. Code 2, please try again later. Uh, so then all you have to do is push offline mode. The game will load up. You can play your mods. Uh, you should be good to go. Uh, if you have any trouble at all, leave a comment. I'll do my best to help you out. But other than that, that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.